So, as you all can tell from our recent videos, we have been a bit obsessed with Black Clover lately due to the anime finally picking up in the terms of quality and the plot within the manga becoming more and more intriguing as time goes by. We have just been on a binge of uploading all our thoughts and theories currently. Anyways, we have come to the point where we feel the need to explain Asta's new form in the Black Clover series. So here's a reminder that this video will contain all sorts of spoilers from the manga. We'll be analysing the demon residing in Asta's body and how it impacts his already enhanced abilities against powerful foes. But before we begin, we know you guys have many questions regarding Asta's demon transformation. For example, whether he's able to control and contain his anti-magic form or if he has any blood relation to Leash. And We'll try to answer all of that in this video. So let's go right into it and explore the hidden truth behind Dark Esther. Well, it is quite evident that most of you Black Clover fanatics already understand the usage of Asta's three anti-magic swords, and we have explained briefly in part 1 about the capabilities of these overpowered weapons. But what matters here is the true origin behind the sword along with the Five Leaf Clover Grimoire's mysteries. So we'll start off by elaborating Lish's presence in all of this and how he relates to the demon residing in Asta. With Lish being revealed as the elf tribe leader, this opened many doors to understanding his stance in the Black Clover series as an antagonist. Well, Licht was originally the elf's leader hundred of years back when the feud between humans and elves was at its peak. Licht one day came across a human woman who was trapped in a magical tornado. As he then proceeded to save her, just a heads up, Licht's ideology was to always form peace between both humans and elves. You could say all of them years back he was the protagonist of his own story. Anyways, this woman he had saved was known as Tetia who was the magic emperor's sister. And you know how it goes from there. They fall in love and have a child and then there comes tragedy. <laughs> the humans betray the elves on Licht and Tetia's wedding day, massacring them all. This of course causing Tetia to die and Licht to go berserk. And in that state, Licht awakened all kinds of forbidden magic that no one knew of. He even casted reincarnation magic on his close friend known as Patoli for him to be revived as Massive spoiler alert, William Vengeance in the current timeline of Black Clover. Lish then follows up by releasing a demon god spell to attack the Clover Kingdom but only to be defeated by the legendary magic emperor. Now with the context of Lish passed out of the way, how does this have any relation to Asta and the demon dwelling inside of him? Well, understanding Licht's perspective, we can see the responsibility he held as the leader of the elf tribe, especially during a time where conflict was unavoidable. So prepare yourself for this. Asta's five-leaf clover grimoire originally belonged to Licht. And yes, you did hear that right. Licht grimoire was formerly a four-leaf clover, but what we don't know yet is that Yuki Tabata, the manga of Black Clover, hasn't revealed yet that whether Licht had altered his four-leaf clover grimoire or not, due to the fifth clover representing a demon. The theory of Licht forcing a new level for his grimoire is still in the dark, but it is stated by Licht himself that the Five Leaf Clover grimoire was in fact once his. So if Asta's grimoire was originally Licht, then what are the true origins behind Asta's anti-magic swords? Well, all three swords, Demon Slayer Sword, Demon Dweller Sword and Demon Destroyer Sword were all forged by Licht himself and then placed within the grimoire. It stated that Licht had no magical energy at all, thus allowing him to wield the Demon Dweller Sword during his confrontational battle against Asta and Yino. Licht was able to effortlessly utilize the Demon Dweller Sword against Asta and Yuno, whereas in Asta's case he had struggled to utilize the ability of his second sword as it only worked for him on instinct. The more shocking fact behind this demonic grimoire is that Licht claimed it had no longer belonged to him because the demon god residing within it chose Asta as his next user rather than tracking back to the creator of the Five Leaf Clover grimoire. It's kind of bizarre that something Licht created has its own free will to choose its next user. Now with the concept and tale of the demon, the mangaka of Black Clover, Yuki Tabata comes up with various ways to connote the demon in his story. Whilst the nobles and royals exclaimed that Licht had become the ancient demon god himself, but in actual fact, 
only summoned it according to the Witch Queen. The story Noel was told as a child is that Licht was consumed by the demon god and eventually became one with it. However, Yuki Tabata did this on purpose to exaggerate the legendary anecdote that was told for years about how the magic emperor defeated this demon god. And technically, we could also relate to this form of storytelling, as an example of this is how children's stories were told to us in a very simplified form to avoid confusion. And let's not forget there is also the fact that history over time does get told differently as time causes loss of information and in addition to subjective understanding. Right now there isn't much on the demon god except for how he was summoned by Licht and his fight against the magic emperor. During that fight he was able to use all sorts of magic, which then poses the question, what is Asta's true potential? But for now what we do know, as explained in part 1, Black Asta can be used to his ability for 2 times a day, but comes with a limited time due to it causing pain and fatigue to his physical body. When Asta had met the demon for the first time in his subconscious, it was obvious he was trapped inside of Asta's body similarly to how Naruto had Kuruma sealed inside of him. The fact that we know that the demon has a desire to enter the material world in Asta's body exploits his ulterior motive of wanting to destroy everything in sight. Well, even if Yuki Tabata doesn't reveal to us the demon's goals, we can kind of guess already what to expect as due to the shonen style this manga acquires. We have seen it plenty of times in anime and it's bound to happen to Asta for him to go absolute berserk mode during a time of grief or desperation. Anyways, through Asta's willpower, he just about escapes the Witch Queen and narrowly discharges himself from being controlled fully by the demon residing inside of him, causing the right side of his body to become enchanted by the demon's anti-magic power. We stated this in part 1 about his right side of his body growing a ring and resembling a demon alongside enhanced abilities which makes him OP to another level. <laughs> We are actually planning to do another video going more into detail explaining the power of his transformation. We will explain how strong Asta becomes and compare it to other power ups. If you want us to do that video then make sure to smash that thumbs up and let us know in the comment section below about what you guys think about Asta's transformation. Ok now going forward, referring to Licht past, we were only exposed to his motives behind casting a demon god against the Clover Kingdom. But with the death of his wife Tetia, what happened to the hybrid child? Both Licht and Tatia entrusted their child would bring peace within the Clover Kingdom within the struggles between humans and elves, believing it would allow the reconciliation with the two races, although this isn't explicitly explained by Tabata as he hasn't come to this point in the manga. But this still brings up the theory behind Asta's origin. We understand that Licht can use reincarnation magic and many other forbidden magic spells that we don't know of yet. However, right now, Asta is out of the question of being a Lish child due to the Witch Queen stating that they had no blood relation at all. But for the Five Leaf Clover Grimoire to be choosing Asta can't be a coincidence. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. Maybe their child spirit lived on in Asta's body. But there is also the probability that Yuno could be related to Licht, as both are users of the Four Leaf Clover Grimoire, or maybe Licht and Tatia's baby split into two, becoming Yuno and Asta, and they are the embodiments of their baby. Who knows? This mystery remains unsolved and we just got to wait on Black Clover to develop as time goes by. Well, I hope you guys took a lot from this video regarding the origin behind Asta and the demon residing inside of him. There are many clues that Yuki Tabata has left inside the manga and we hope to explain them but for now, with the information we have coming up in our speculation and theory was very interesting. If you lot have any specific theories or plot points you want us to discuss, then remember to let us know. And but anyway guys, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you're new and follow us on our social media platforms and we'll catch you guys next time.